Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name is Cam Williams, and we have a huge event on the WTA next week, the Estrava Open, which is an indoor hardcore event leading into the end of the season. Of course, we've got the WTA Finals only just around the corner, and we've got some massive names playing in this one. Most of the top 10 are playing in this one. We actually don't have any withdrawals from this event, so let's get straight to the draw. So starting at the top of the draw, we have eight seeds in this one, and the top four seeds get a bye in the first round. Iga Sviantec, she is back since the US Open, the first match back. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll play the winner of a qualifier versus Zhang, who Zhang's had a very good last couple of months. So it's going to be a tricky second round there for Sviantec. Then we've got two qualifiers going at it. Winner of that match will take on either Mukova or the number seven seed, Haddad Meyer. And both players are very dangerous. In fact, Haddad Meyer actually beat Sviantec a few months ago. So tricky draw there for Sviantec in those first couple of rounds. Then we've got the number three seed, Contivate. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Teichman or Martin Kova in the second round. Then we've got Azarenka taking on Alexandrova. The winner of that match will take on the best first round match of the tournament between Raducanu and the number five seed, Kazakina. That is going to be a huge matchup. Of course, Raducanu trying to get back in form and Kazakina has had a very solid 2022. So very fun to watch that one. And you can see there the quarterfinal potential opponents being Kazakina and Contivate based on the rankings, but could be anyone in this part of the draw. And of course, this part of the draw takes on the Sviantec section of the draw. So we could get Contivate Sviantec. We're going off the rankings. Kazakina Sviantec more likely if we're talking about 2022 form. Having a look at the bottom half of the draw now, we've got the number six seed Benchic taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Rogers or Krejcikova in the second round. And Krejcikova Benchic just played last week in a very epic match. So that could be really fun to watch again. Then we've got a qualifier taking on Pliskova. Winner of that match takes on number four seed Zachary. So it just shows how big this event is if Karolina Pliskova is unseated at the event. Then we've got the number eight seed, Ostapenko, taking on Sastovic. Winner of that match takes on either Keys or Rabakina in the second round. Then we've got Kvitova taking on Qualifier. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Paola Badosa. And again, you know, Rabakina, Kvitova, all unseeded plays, very dangerous. And you can see there we could be getting quarterfinals between Bencic and Sakari if we're going to go off the rankings, or Ostapenko and Badosa if we're going to go off the rankings. And then semifinals opponents could be Badosa versus Sakari. Uh, Ostapenko, Bencic, but I don't know, you know, Rabakina, Kvitova, Krejcikova, Poliskova, they could all get to the quarterfinals, semifinals, and it wouldn't be a surprise either. So very interesting tournament and a very, very stacked event. More unseeded players to watch out for. Let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this event because it's looking very, very interesting. I think Sviantec's obviously the favorite, but you never know. Indoor hard courts being faster it could prove one of the big hitters. You know, Rabakina could come out and do something for the first time since Wimbledon, uh, maybe. Who knows? Let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win.